Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the alphabet challenge. Today's letter is the letter P. I feel like a guy on Sesame Street. Isn't that who it is? Today's letter is, and you know, he says the letter. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being silly. Um, so anyway, we're going to do pockets. So I thought about doing paper, but <laughs> a lot of what we do is with paper and I've been doing that. Uh, pretty much the entire alphabet was paper, some sort of paper. So I was like, mm, th I think that might be too easy. Uh, although pockets are fun too, um, but I wanted to do pockets. Now Q on the other hand, I have no idea what to do for Q. Um, I think the other girls did quotes um, and I could do that possibly, but uh, I need ideas for Q. So I'm gonna hold off on recording Q for a couple days and let this one air and then hopefully we can come up with something. So the time between the letter P and the letter Q might be more than just a single day because I've been doing like every other day, right? So the difference between P and Q might be more than just a single day because I really need some ideas on what to do for Q. Um, quotes is a fallback and I can do that, but unless I come up with something that's like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Uh, I'm going to need help <laughs> on Q. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to start the clock for pockets um, or not. There we go. Like, wait a minute. It's not starting. All right. So my idea was to take these bags um, and fold them. And so they could be inserts into your signatures, right? And you could have a pocket here as well as cut the edge and have a pocket here. And so that's what we're going to do. Um, and I'm going to reinforce this as well. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, burp, burp. There we go. Okay. And put that right there. Fold that in half. Like a soul. And then hold this one. Well, I guess that's not technically in half now, is it? Because I'm not making it directly in half. And I'll show you why. So hopefully I can do this in enough time. Or quick enough, rather. So I'm going to cut that edge off here. Hey. And I'm literally just cutting just a sliver enough to open up the pocket. That's it. So. I want to fold this right there. Uh, well, not really right there, but okay. Uh, it doesn't have to be even because they're not going to be on the same sides. So it's okay if one is longer than the other. I mean, it's really okay. So I'm going to cut the edge here to open the bag. And I'm going to cut right here, right up until that fold. And I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And I'm going to cut right up to that fold. And that's it. So we're going to take this piece and we're going to fold it over. And then we're going to take this piece and we're going to fold it over this way. Okay, you need to move. Thank you. Okay. Like that. Now we have reinforced openings here, here and here. Okay. Uh, this one's actually doubly reinforced because uh, this was the seal of the of the uh, bag. So I'm just gonna glue these down real quick. Um, after I open my glue up a little bit. Alright. So there's uh, that one. And you can do like the um, the hole punch or whatnot to signify it's a pocket. I normally don't, but I guess we can today. All right, so there's that one. And now we're gonna do the same thing with this, only it's gonna go inside this pocket here. You can fold it backwards too if you wanted. Whatever's easier for you. 
it just happens to already be folded that way. So did that. All right. So there's two pockets here. Okay. And then you sew this in your signature. So you just take a, you know, a six by nine bag. It can be an envelope. It doesn't matter. It's quite forgiving. It just needs to have a straight line. Sorry, I'm yelling at my bag here. All right, now you could also taper here if you wanted. And I tapered ever so slightly. Okay, and then cut your sliver off. Boop. Like so. Fold it back. So over glue. Bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay, open open sesame. Open sesame. That was so funny. I don't remember what it was, but the other day Sydney kept saying like trying to get something to open. She's like, open sesame, open sesame, open sesame. Oh, we uh it was at a, it was at my daughter's, uh, we had went out for lunch for my daughter's graduation and, um, she had ordered chocolate milk and it, they gave her a glass with, uh, you know, those little, little cartons, you know, the kind of used to get in school. Anyway, um, she kept trying to open it and she's like, open sesame, open sesame, open sesame, instead of just asking for help. She was being very stubborn, but it was very cute because she's like, open sesame, open sesame. Like, um, you realize that doesn't actually help anything to open, right? <laughs> she's like, yeah, but it sounds cool. I'm like, okay. That kid, man, she talks as much as I do. Actually, I'm pretty sure she talks more than I do, if you can imagine that. Like, that is a thing. There are people in this world that talk more than me. I know it's a shocker. Have a conversation with my dad. I love my dad. I love my dad to death. I'm just saying he talks more than I do. So at least I get it honestly. <laughs> All right. So the last one is this one here and we're going to, you know what? I'm just going to, this one doesn't want to fold properly. There we go. Voila. All right. And trim the edge. No, you actually have to cut the edge off. There we go. My scissors were not cooperating. And I'm going to take this extra piece off because I don't think it's needed. And it just makes it that much more bulky. You know? Because it's just going to get glued down anyway. So it's even sturdier because there's like a line of glue that I'm folding in half from where they sealed the bag rip. Right? So it's like really thick right there, which is another reason why I was taking the paper off because it's really thick right there. All right. So we spent a little bit of time on constructing our pockets. Now let's make them pretty or 
Now, the great thing about using decorative paper, whether it's dyed, whether it's scrapbook paper, uh, stained paper, you know, embossed paper, it doesn't matter, is it's already pretty. You're just accenting it. You're just, you know, adding a little bit to it. Oh, did I forget that one? I did. Psych, I'm not done with you, glue stick. All right, there we go. Haha. Alright, so now we have three pocket pages. Oh, we could do pages too. Doesn't really matter. Pocket pages. Alright, so I've got this really cool fabric that I would like to use. So I'm gonna rip that and then I'm going it to rip that. Actually, I'm going to fold it in half and rip that. All right, so we've got two pieces here that we can play with. So, come out. Oh, there. All right. So we've got one here. Uh, I think I'm going to use fiber tackles. And then lay that down. Okay. And now flip it over. Grab our other piece here. And if you want to leave the extra pieces, you know, that's that's cool. I normally don't. Oh, that's my alarm. It's lunchtime. So our lunch is going to be just a little late because I didn't realize it was quite so close to noon when I started recording this. That's all right. It's only going to be like 15 minutes late. Um, so we have like a schedule for uh, breakfast, snack, and lunch. And it basically uh, makes sure that they have a, a break in between their classes every single day. They get like a 15 minute break every couple hours. To, like they don't even start until uh, eight o'clock after they've had breakfast. All right, go down there. Stick. Okay. And. Nope, I don't want the fabric. Thank you. Cut that. And then flip that over. Do the same thing on this side. And then oh, we have this. Oh, we might put this one on the other side or on one of the other um, pieces. That's really pretty. I like that. Okay, hold that. Um, let's see. I don't know that I really want to add too much more to this because I'll, my intention is to keep it flat, you know? Maybe add a piece on the inside of this. Lace, where'd it go? Where's my edge? Where's my edge? Here. I'm going to add a piece here and then add a piece on the other side. But yeah, I normally don't add the, um, the, whatchacallits, um, the 
the punchies, the hole, because I, I normally do exactly what I'm doing right now and decorate across the hole. Um, so there's like a little bit of a, a texture to this lace. It's, um, and it's on the top and which is why I flipped it over and did this side first. All right, so this particular pocket is going to have to stay open for a little bit uh, because we did not use hot glue, we used fabric tech. So, and the great thing about fabric tech is you can lay it down and say, oops, and go do something else and then come back and the fabric tech is still good. There we go. See? Now it's on the inside is pretty and the outside is pretty. And we didn't cover up the design on the bag itself. So that's what I really like about that. And then your pocket. Okay. As long as you don't glue it shut. So that's one. This one. I want to take this all the way across. Um, I'm going to come over just a smidge. All right. Excuse you, flower. And then open this up. And go across. going to let this dry flat. And we're not done with it, but we are going to let it dry flat. Okay, we're going to use our white lace again because it's really pretty. I don't remember where I got this one. I think I got, not the blue one, the white one. I think I got it from an antique mall. And no, I know that doesn't mean that it's vintage. It's a pretty good indication that it's old, but I don't know how old. Okay, and then we're going to put this straight across the top like that. Or the edges, rather. Why did I close that? I'm not done with you. Okay. And that's one of the things I really like about lace is there's so many different textures and designs with lace that you can have thin lace, thick lace, thin lace, wide lace, different colors. Like it's just, it's an awesome textile to work with. I enjoy it a lot, obviously. I don't know if you guys have seen my shop or not. But I have a couple of laces. Right. And if uh, you're curious, my shop is in the description box, but uh, it's just journeyofcrafting.com. Pretty simple to remember. It's just my name, dot com. And then you could actually go over to this side too without cutting it. I should have done that on the other side, but I didn't think about it until just now. All right. Oh, they might be feeding themselves lunch. 
because like I said, it's pretty set schedule and it's my fault. I didn't realize I was so close to noon, but we're almost done. I actually like that folded over like that. Well, I just flew, flung a flower, flung a flower. And honestly, the difference, um, some of you might be asking, why am I using Fabri-Tac all of a sudden instead of uh, hot glue? Uh, it's, I think for me personally, I choose which glues to use depending on where it's intended on going. So for like the larger embellishments um, or the thicker rather embellishments, they're typically for things that can be taken out of the journal. Uh, whether it's on the journal cover or whether it's on tags or even journal cards. But the point is, is that it can be taken out of the journal. Um, so the bulkiness of it doesn't really matter that much, but something that's sewn into the journal, I use Fabri-Tac for because it lays flatter than hot glue because hot glue has a, um, when it dries, it makes, um, Sorry, the little things off the fabric are kind of flying everywhere. Anyway, it makes uh, layers that you may or may not want. Uh, this is the one that I didn't take the thing off. Um, all right, we're just going to have to glue it down because it's already halfway glued down now. All right. Okay, so what do we want to do with this one? Um, oh, I have another wide lace. Oh, let's do this one. Oh, I kind of like that though. Oh, it might be too wide. Or not too wide, but too thick, too bulky. Okay, so this one here is, it's wide, but it's not crazy wide. So we could actually go across like this, like kind of go down the middle. I like that. And then I also have this one, but with the eyelets, it might make it too thick, like too bulky. I'm not sure. But if I do this one, then it would go across. Well, that's backwards, but it would go across like this. And then I put something across the top. Oh, let's do that. That actually sounds kind of nice. Okay. So put this one away. And these are ones that are not on the shelf. This one is, but the other one's not. I know that because I have a little basket over there that's like, hey, you need to put these on the shop. Um, and that, that white or that cream colored one I just showed you is in that basket or was in that basket. All right. So I'm pretty sure this one is. We want to make this, um, let's see, how do we want to do this? Do it across the top. Yeah, let's do it across the top. All right. So I'm going to go down, get that off, there we go. flatten that out a little bit. need to open this. All right. And now we can't go all the way around it. So I think what we're going to do instead is put the, whatever lace we put on the bottom here, we'll put on the sides on the other side. Does that make sense? 
because I can't wrap it with this. Otherwise, it'll close the pockets. And I mean, I guess you could cut the lace, but putting two pieces of lace across both sides would make this pocket pretty bulky. Like to put this lace on this side and then flip it over and put it again. You could do it. You would just have a little bulk, a little bulky and you may or may not want bulky. And if you want bulky, then go for it. Go for it, man. All right. So there's that one and that one. And let's put you, wrap you back up. All right, now let's do, let's do something different. What do I have in here? I have a decent amount of this, whatever this is. All right. Um, okay, well, this is all tangled up. Oh, that's pretty, but I don't have enough of that. I know I don't. Because I need it to go across the bottom here as well as down the sides on the inside of the pocket page. Does that mean I get double points because it's a pocket page? I'm just kidding. There are no points. <laughs> or there are no points, rather. It's just fun. A fun challenge. All right. Um, oh, Got extra stuff here. All right. Where are you? End. Oh, there's, there's one. Okay. All right. So I don't know what this is, but it's not exactly flat. Like there's a little bit of a taper right there. I have glue all over my hands. There's a little bit of a pleat right there as well as right there, right there. So it's kind of like periodic where the pleat is. You know, I don't think I like that though. Mm -mm, I need a wider lace. Okay. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to bring that other one back. Come here. I still have this bag of ink down here on the floor. Um, I don't know if you guys remember a few videos back, I was playing with the ink or whatever, but a lot of them that I was opening up, they would either not work at all or they would break. And so I just put them all back in the bag and I haven't touched them since. And I don't know what to do with them. What can I do with inks that are broken? <laughs> and it's not that they're dry. Like the, the pads have disconnected from the uh, thing. Um, like imagine this, the pad coming out of it. Like that's what I mean by they're broken. They're not all broken. I have no idea. Um, I haven't opened them all, but I don't know what to do with them because I don't want to throw them away. I paid for them. Um, and I mean, I'm sure they're still good. I just can't like edge with them or anything like that, which is fine because you use inks for all kinds of stuff. All right, there we go. Oh, that is so much better. Okay. Much, 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 much better. Oh, wrong way. I always cut like a certain way. Do you guys cut a certain way when you're trimming stuff or if you're fussy cutting or if you're following a line or whatever, but do you, do you cut a certain way or like, how do you do that? How do you guys cut? Or does it just like whatever, random, you know, whatnot? Could probably make one of these a, uh, a, like a little tiny pocket. I think we'll do that on the other side. Like, 
I don't know if you guys have realized this, but I always cut this way. If the edge of what I'm cutting against is towards me. I don't know. That's just how I prefer to do it. Okay, so we're going to go here and here and make this into a little pocket. A pocket on a pocket. All right. And then all the way down. And then up. Okay, I like that. A pocket on a pocket. I probably should have done that with that one too. Oh well. I don't know if I can take it off because I don't know that this will come off. It might be too set. Oh, maybe not. Ugh. Okay, we're going to set that aside. We're going to use a different piece. I'm going to see if I can rub off this glue. And see, that's another thing I really like about Fabri-Tac is, okay, stop, we're, we're done. I'm just redoing something and uh oh. So maybe I failed this one, maybe I passed this one. I don't know, but it was still fun. Um, but that's one of the things I really like about Fabri-Tac is if you put too much glue on something, you can just rub it off. Once it dries though, it's no go. That's why I was worried. I was like, oh, is it dry? But it's not. I'm just rubbing off the excess glue. And that's what this is. Oh, I don't think y'all can see that. Okay. All right. But yeah, that's what all that is is all that glue I just rubbed off of here. So I'm going to use another piece uh, because this one's got glue on it still. Actually, no, I can use it. Okay. All right. So let's put here. And then down the side. Whee. Whee. Oh, and then up. And there we go. You might want to put something in there just in case that glue on that lace wasn't completely dry. Because I want to keep it a pocket. Alright. Um, alright, so, alright, so remember, um, the time frame between P and Q may be more than a day, uh, cause I need to think of something to do Q. Um, what I normally do is I'll just Google, uh, words that start with, you know, X, Y, Z, whatever, and, um, I'll try to find something that has some sort of relation to crafting and go from there. And if I still can't find anything, I'll just go and search the videos that have already done the alphabet challenge and see what they did. Um, and like I said, quotes is an option. I want to try to find something different, but this is so cool. I like this. And then when it dries, that will be your pocket insert. And then you'll have your little pocket here and your pocket here as well. So there's this one here. This is the third one that we did. 
And then this is the second one that we did. This one, same thing. You'll have your little pocket. Okay. And then this one is the first one that we did. Pocket. Okay. So I think those turned out really cool. Might be a little biased, but that's all right. All right. So anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, whenever that might show up, I'm not sure. So give it a couple days if it's not posted. Um, just give it a couple days and I will catch you guys later. Bye.